What's up guys, this is Retro Collector 101 back here with another banger and in this video I'll be telling you guys which handheld you should buy in 2021. So the first handheld PlayStation released to try to take some market share from Nintendo was the PSP. You may be saying, well aren't there 4 variations like the 1000, 2000, 3000 and Street series? Well yes. But in brief, the 3000 is really better than the rest, so I don't want to take your time talking about the other models. Anyways, looking at the PSP 3000, it has a very similar layout to the PS3. This makes the PSP a very easy handle to use. The first thing that you should know about the PSP is that it does not use cartridges. Instead, it uses something called UMDs. This was made to prevent piracy and actually did the job quite well. The only thing that UMDs don't do well is that it makes quite a racket in the background. Another thing that you should know is that since UMDs are actually not that expensive to produce, you can actually get these games for the system for quite cheap. Now lastly, this system actually has a good and diverse library. It's first-person shooters like Call of Duty, Roads to Victory, and other games like GTA work quite well, with crisp graphics and little to no glitching. This definitely makes it a possible handheld you should buy. Now that you know about the best PSP that takes UMDs, why don't we talk about one that was very, well, interesting. I'm talking about the PSP Go. Now the PSP Go was released in 2009, 5 years after the release of the first PSP. It unfortunately sold very bad mainly because you could not transfer your UMD library to your PSP Go. Now this handheld actually works quite well, and like its brother, the PSP and PS Vita, it can actually emulate games quite well as well. It is also compact, meaning it is very portable. Although it sounds like a great contender, downloading games on it is just one hell of a ride. And the price you can find these things these days is just a nightmare, which is why I really and truly do not recommend this handheld. Now lastly, why don't we touch on the PS Vita? There are actually two different types of Vitas out there, both being equally as good, of course, in different areas. The first PS Vita is the PS Vita 1000. This model is a bit heavy, a bit more meaty compared to its counterpart, has okay battery life but an amazing OLED display for those perfect blacks. The other is the PS Vita 2000. This handheld is the one I have right here and is lighter, thinner, has great battery life but has a decent LCD display. Since both are pretty good, I am going to talk about them as one. So gameplay for the PS Vita is actually pretty crisp. Since it is newer than the PSP, it can play higher demanding games and is basically a portable PS3. Sony finally added a second analog stick making it very easy to play first person shooter games. The library is good consisting of great shooter games like Killzone Mercenary and a great RPG called Persona 4. Now the only problem that I faced with the PS Vita has is that its memory cards are insanely expensive going over $100 for 64 gigs of memory. This won't really be too big of a problem though if you want to buy cartridges instead of buying them online. So, to sum it up, the PS Vita is definitely a great handheld. So, which handheld should you buy? Well, I suggest the PS Vita since it is newer and can play higher demanding games. But if your budget is on the tight side, then I suggest the PSP. The reason why I did not suggest the PSP Go is because it just sucks considering its price and how hard it is to get games on it. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please hit the subscribe button. And if you want to see more videos like this one, then click in the link below to gain access to my channel. Anyways, I hope you liked the video and have a great day. Bye.